of uh, James Dodd. Yeah, so James is from last round. So he's still running his, as a reminder, uh, Fen Rao, Ivitani, Concord Dawn, Auto of Rusters. Uh, contracted stouts twice with Atani, Extra Munitions, R4 Agrimex and Guidance Chips. One of them's got Plasmas and one of them has Proton Torps and Boba Fett. And Chris Knight on the left hand side I believe off on. Yeah, our Rebel Hero has made it to the top table. Uh, and he's decided, he, he's basically kind of built this list as a counter to scouts. Uh, so he's put his Bs up and his, even his Zed up to pilot skill 4 so that they can shoot first uh, traces on the Z with guidance chips to be able to get the target locks for all of the B-wings uh, two daggers with fire control system uh, again pilot skill 4 very important on this one and lastly is Nero Dantos who is in the back with fire control system again, proton torpedoes, extra munitions, guidance chips and trick shots just because it's free, why not? So his goal is to take down some uh, scouts very quickly happy to sacrifice the Zed to do that for him and here comes the Sartin Shake <laughs> just wipe your hands off um, Ash has announced the start of the round so they're all just getting their dials ready to go and we quite often say in the tournaments that it's not really, the top table's not really serious until round three, is it? It's uh, usually yeah. a random mix of people, and um, but now this is the top two. Yeah, yeah. so you get a, a round, maybe two rounds, getting the people starting to match up to the skill levels. Um, I'm, as I say, usually by round two it's getting closer, but by round three it's pretty much there. Um, so it should be a bit close. Last one was actually very close for quite a while. Yeah. Um, just uh, Oliver had a slight issue with a barrel roll that he forgot about, obviously, um, which he was he was a bit upset about. But he he figured out what he'd gone wrong. Um, so he's happy. He's happy. He knows what he did. He endeavoured not to do that same again, obviously. Um, yeah. And James is playing quite well at the same time. I'll see if we can drag uh, Mr. Bale in in a second. Yeah, so we need a quick chat with him. See, Talk uh, about his artwork. Definitely. Uh, we've got none on the table at the moment, unfortunately. However, we've got some prizes of those art cards coming through, which is going to be nice. Um, available to buy from Weekend Warlords. Chris is just going to edge his group forward, keep them in a nice formation. Oh, oh, here we go, we're getting a preview. So there's the lovely Sabine. Mr. Bell, would you like to say something about your cards? <laughs> He's gone all shy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what we got here? Uh, we've got Darth Vader now. Darth Vader. Very nice. Uh, quite subtle. Um, the design blends into the background well, but you can still see it nice and clearly. And what are we doing this for, uh, Jake? We're doing the set for 10 quid, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, all four pound each if you're one of those. Uh, that's that's mono sort of faction it. types. And that really stands out on the live stream when the players got that card. Definitely. Last yeah. round we had someone using the Fenrau and you saw all the cards just blending in and then there's this bright orange mark on the bottom left. It's quite funny to look at. <laughs> Made it very easy to tell what was happening with that one. Yeah, yeah. nice. And you're going to do some more? I believe. Um, You're working on it, thinking about we're, it. We're thinking. <laughs> you know, there's a few discussions in the background. There's a charity um, one coming up at least. Uh, yeah. Uh, got Secret a few charity details. <laughs> a few details to uh, confirm on that. But yeah, uh, there might be a, a little card at Nerf Herder, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, <laughs> secret, all secret. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> but I'm more interested in this game because this B-Wing list I keep looking at and 
I, I, I just... Does it scare you? It, yeah, it does, because I don't... You, you can't joust it, you can't focus fire on one ship, and you can't split fire. There's just too many hull and shields, I think. Yeah. I think it's just a bit too tanker. Yeah, their biggest flaw is purely their manoeuvring. Um, B ones are notoriously hard to use once someone gets behind them. Oh yeah, if, if you've got plenty of art dodgers going round, I, I think you stand a good chance. But There's a reason a few waves ago 4BZ was the thing. Yeah. He was just absurdly powerful point sufficient, obviously. So you got a lot of damage out, you could take a lot of hits. Uh, this is slightly less pokey but the efficiency from the upgrade is definitely there definitely um, especially with Nero being able to shoot rockets out of her ass <laughs> yeah and like I said he's bumped them all up to pilot school for just for those contracted scouts because they've been so prevalent around these days yeah there, there does seem to be quite a few around today Uh, I think of, of the uh, 20 lists we've got today, at least more than half of them involve jump masters, <laughs> which is... Uh, is expected. Not quite that heavy, uh, but yeah. yeah. And when it looks like every uh, game on the stream is going to be involving jump masters, it becomes a bit less interesting, but... That's why we're all spawning Chris today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've Something got... Something a little bit different. Got but a couple of warlords going, uh, supporting Chris. Definitely unbiased. Well, I um, I saw the end of his last game, and he was up against Fen Torok and Jump Master. Yeah, another <laughs> jump, and it, and he played oh, it really yeah. well. That yeah, was just on. Uh, it's, it's not an awful mistake. No damage either. He's probably going to take another clip on the way off. Uh, although we will say again from the angle, because it's not directly top down, we can get slightly off on the angles, a bit yeah. harder to tell. So, we, we like to blame the cameras for any mistakes we say. Thoughts on the game? Who do you think is going to have it for this round? Um. Well, like I said, I saw Chris's last game, and I think I think he knows how to go up against scum lists, and, and I think he's flying against them pretty well. Um, but having a look at all the talks, it seems that the uh, jumps have got. I think they might have the option of trying to uh, single out one or two B wings mm. at some point in the game if he if he gets into the position. Um, but I don't think it's going to be very easy for this one player. No, not tight to can turn his circles on those B wings. Uh, Rasta, yes, we saw he, ro he did hit the rock, but on the if it should have seen in the dice feed at the top, he rolled a blank, so no damage on that one. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell on the angle, but I think he's going to be clipping it again on the way off, so possibly then. Um, as much as I despise Fenrau uh, on a personal level, um, even I would not like to see him taken down by just hitting rocks. No, no, no. I think. Fen's one of those exciting pilots that you do actually want to he's see. He's great to watch, but he's yeah. horrible to play against. <laughs> yeah. After I played him, played against him a few times, I soon uh, went into the category of flying him. <laughs> did, you, did you find you had the uh, curse of, uh, oh, I'm flying Fen Rao, he doesn't roll evades. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. that happens. It's funny how it never happens to other people. <laughs> My favourite part of Fen is when he's down to one hull. And then he Doesn't decides die. that he cannot be hit for the rest of the uh, game. Thank you, George. It means a lot for me. <laughs> Too many compliments. My fed head will get a bit fatter than it already is. <laughs> so, how would you approach this? As B wings or as scouts? Um, as the B-Wings. 
The wings, I'd have gone for Rap for swinging in. Uh, to avoid yeah, I'd have gone to around the debris on the right of that forward B wing. Um, and so I would have swung into the rocks anyway, but I'd have come in from the bottom right yeah, yeah. rather than the bottom centre. Uh, yeah. Just for to give you more time to get the scout to them turn back downwards now. Yeah, I think I think mainly the next turn uh, the B wings are going to be very limited of where they're going. I think they have to swing left. Um, going right, I think it will take too many turns. Yeah. Going through the debris and asteroids. Oh, that is looking like uh, that is a rock. We'll have to see if he's rolling the dice or not. Obviously, it'd be bad for him if it does, but it's looking like he's, he's cleared, it. cleared it. Yeah, no, they're looking fine. Surely he's got to take the barrel roll to the edge. Yeah, barrel roll out towards Chris. Yeah. Uh, maybe forwards, then the hard turn in. Yeah. Although that would leave them at range ones of some bees coming in on the. So, depends how brave he's feeling. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Fenn's in the best position at the minute. <laughs> uh, Ian, yes, that is the planet Yavin, that is not the back of Carl's head. <laughs> He thought that that was uh, looking at Carl. <laughs> I'm sure he'll definitely appreciate hearing that. Uh, we, we miss you too. Uh, we miss you too, George. Um, I hear you're doing responsible things like family this weekend, rather than you know playing with your real family in the X-wing uh, tournament. But you know we forgive you. That's what family does. Uh, yes, definitely agree. Ben is. Unless he t does like a free bank out towards Chris and then boosts round, takes a longer turn coming back in from the back. Yeah, he's going to be point blank to a cup, uh, a lot of firepower, and the jumps are just way too far back to support it. Oh, here we go, first rolls. This will be. Did we miss a roll? No, that is against that's against Fen. Did we miss Fen shooting? Um, if he did, he didn't do anything damage because they're all on shields, so these are just B-Wings taking pops at Fen now. <coughs> um, getting their fire control systems. Oh. Auto thrusters. That's a damage onto Fen already. And just going to pile those target locks on and get ready. Well, the following turn is going to really sting. And with Nira to her side, Fen's going to have a hard time getting out of arc from those proton torpedoes. Do you think of a Fen five forward? Into a rock. Do you think it clear? No. It boost out. If he did a four forward boost towards Chris, You'd be facing into the corner and you'd probably clear the rock. But again, distances and angles are hard, a little bit harder from this, mm. time, this bit. Uh, that was not a great turn for James. He needs to bring those jump masters in because Fen is going to feel some pain. Yeah. It's okay, George. Like I said, we forgive you. And you're down here most weeks anyway, so you know you can be away for a weekend. We'll let it happen. All you have to do is make me a list that works for uh, Decimate a Punisher. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're thinking. Um, it's, it's going to be hard for Ben. Best he can hope is angle out of arc of most of them, take an evade, get his focus from Atani. Auto thrusters. Well, three bank left. B 
boost one he in. Could, he could flew through. Yeah, like I said, his biggest issue is just that Nira can 360 yeah. talk. So he's, he's almost certainly taken a hit from that. And those U boats are a while away. They are. Um, I'm not quite sure why they're so far out, to be honest. I think he got distracted by Fen being the flanker and didn't consider that the Bing Wings would be coming in for him or turning in that early. Like I said, I'd have gone a bit further up into the corner. He was probably expecting that. I think uh, Chris has gone right now, actually, going back, looking, turning in when he did turn in. Mm. If he can eliminate Fen quite early. Definitely. That, the, the list will win at that point. Yeah. Um, but this is why Chris is on the top table, flying B wings, and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> when I fly B wings, they die in two turns, and um, I get very sad by how many points I've just lost. Yeah. I will make KM Falander work. Uh, this is the third game in a row where Chris has been unable to uh, get his Fred Tracers to do anything because his B-Wings are already getting the target locks. <laughs> yeah. the, the list really, really does work well. Yeah, we, we've discovered some minor rules which may be inconvenient for him, so we're gonna, so we're seeing what we can do to improve his list around that. Yeah. Now, um, Nira is probably going to have to fly straight forward to unless, to get around that rock. She's not, not going to fit in a bank. Unless a free bank, but then the... Maybe a free bank will get through, but that's a red, which is bad for her. She's got a target now, so that's it. And that was, I believe, John taking photos of the, uh, the cards. Uh, it was good to have you down last month, Lewis. We'll uh, definitely want to have you back down, even if you are, you know, Norman scum. <laughs> Okay, going around, the, splitting around the room. Fastest wing goes to Dink. Oh, very nice. What did he pick? Very fast. Uh, beating Luke Fishy Townsend. Oh, oh, he's going to hate that. <laughs> Fishy uh, Luke losing to local um, warlords, I think. Chris has just landed on the rock. Yeah, he may have done that on purpose, though. Yeah. I doubt. Not likely, but he may have done it. What's he really got? Oh no, he's, uh, he's so he's bumped into Nira. Now does that mean that? <laughs> Other way. Uh, let's see how that affects. Because he may have been planning to block Nira so that she wasn't moving forward. Uh, he's played that very well. Okay, so what did he forward? Forward? okay, so he's fine. He's fine. I don't think he's just mm, setting up a bit of a kill box for Feng. Yeah, just get a sting. Yeah, I can't gone, really gone. see Feng getting out of this one. No, he focused because he's already got the target up. Yeah. Uh, he went for the four forwards and then a boost to avoid. Oh, he's out of arc of most. Oh, 4K. What? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So he's not going to shoot anything this turn, but he may be set up better for next turn. Uh, although he'd be doing two speed manoeuvre most likely, so the B wing's gonna slow roll him. Looking at how straight that is as well, you would have got the five forward on. Yeah. And then boost behind the rock. 
Yeah. Um, As I say, it's it's a bit harder from the angle. From yeah. Here. It looked from it looked to me like he was going to be on the um, on the rock if he went that yeah. fast. But I'm also blind, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here we go, so Chris is getting some rolls. This will be for the Proton Torps, I believe. No, this will be the Z. Z for Ed Tracers. Did he not shoot with Nero? Okay, so that looks like a standard shot from the Z, and this will be the B-Wing through the rock, which isn't going to do a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, yes, oh it, it will is. do enough. It's one damage. Defense piling it on. That's it. That is enough. Wow. Right. So he must just be that. So I'm guessing we just missed Nira shooting, or she just straight up didn't shoot, saving the talks of the scouts. Yeah, that was. Fen went down a lot faster than I was expecting. That was. He was just too far out there yeah. and too close to the bees. Uh, so scouts doing minimal damage, no damage even. This gives. This gives. Uh, Press a bit of time to get his stuff together, start reforming it for a strike on a scout. And still having his torpedo on Nira is going to be very helpful for that. Uh, I expect a couple of K tons. Um, the top loose one maybe. Yeah. Uh, the others no. The two jumps are stressed though. So will he? They'll be just doing like a one forward. Exactly, so Chris might have that extra additional time to try and get back into position. If he were to, say, go straight forward with the one at the top, do a free bank on Nero, which would stress him, yeah. uh, then again straight forward with the one at the bottom, the Z can do like a turn to the right, so just start bringing that formation back together. It gives him a bit of time to kind of catch back up. Uh, it is a. Um, I'm biased. But it's glorious to see like a scout list being knocked off the table. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many scouts today. Yeah. I think I think it's I think Rast is right saying it's gonna be very uphill for the jumps now. They've got a lot of work to do. This seems to be the stream where all the all the uh, people have tuned into is a right conversation going on with some uh, northern scum and some warlords. <laughs> I love you, Lewis. Love you, Dolph. Moff. Moff Dalton. There you go. Words. Yeah, more interesting guests looking in to see what we're doing in our tiny cupboard. <laughs> it is interesting. Love it. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay, so now he's bringing them back around in the train. <laughs> well, no, we don't promise to give you good commentary, just there'll be someone talking at you. 
There we go. Uh, 2k on that, which means Nira is going to be turning right. Is that maybe doing it? No, it won't be doing a K. That'd be Rogue of the Rock twice. Not worth it. No. It'd be like car too hard to. Or just leg it and come back in later, because he's not going to do a huge amount. Slowly swing around, get their yeah. target locks. I mean, we start piling into damage. Yeah, with the amount of shields and all the B wings have yeah. got, yeah. they, they, yeah. they, can, <laughs> they can take a couple of rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Clear the traffic jam. Very well there to manoeuvre all them. <laughs> no <laughs> bumps, well. not yeah, a single no, rock. He's done very well. Yeah, so his head's in the wrong direction, but he'll come back in. And worst case, he'll take the damage from uh, when he's swing going further up. He'll take some damage from that top one, rather than the B wing. Now he's nearly got that range one. She hasn't, which is actually probably good if, for that torpedo shot coming in. Will do, will do Nick. <laughs> right, here we go. So Nira on the bottom skirt. That's where things get exciting. Yeah. Ooh, that is a very nice one. So Proton up and then Guidance Chips up to another crit. Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, he's going to spend that. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. spend focus, definitely. <laughs> Don't take shields, just start whittling down. Mm, have another two Bs at it. Bit further, bit more defence, but that focus is gone now. Right, nice range free shot. Eh, not so good. Still enough. <laughs> they dice aren't open today. And then from the other one, it'll be range two, but it'll be a debris, so. Do it, that's always nice. A target lock, spent, but there's fire control system. Uh, two more, and that's. For the debris. Yeah, so one more. Uh, so still got one shield left, I believe, but I can't see it. Yeah, I think so. Now, shots back from the scouts. Tall point. Yeah, that's two hits. Guidance chips? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Dodge is one, which for a B wing is fantastic, but still takes two shields. 
Uh, no, 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 it's the Bruton Scouts. Okay. Plus more ones for Brad. Ah, I'm looking at the wrong scout for the shields. Thank you, Nick. Okay, and well, there we go. There's the primary from the top scout onto the beaming. There's so much defense. Oh, so another shield. That's fine. I want a Nero. Yep. Yeah, four shields left. This is not looking great for uh, scouts. No. Now, what's he, is he going to swing in onto the one above? Or is he going to try and finish that one off? Because the position's not great for finishing the current off. I mean, he's got like a 2k on Nero. I mean, 2k on the, both the bottom ones and just slowly come in with the top B wing. Otherwise, he could just go straight forwards and yeah. up and try and work on the next one down. I think going one ship in at a time against the B wing list. It, yeah, that there's, was there's bad. Too, there's, <laughs> that just, was a, there's too many dice being rolled, and it, it forces you to roll a fluff roll at some point, which is going to hurt you. Yeah, he just his scouts were too far from Fen to begin with. Yeah. Then he legged it too far forward with Fen without the support. Yeah, that's what I thought, George. I think right. What I'm going to do is send roving reporter Jake Bale uh, just do a double check on scout shields scout shields I was going to look myself but I was like I have a friend who can go for me <laughs> uh, I, I believe that there's one on one shield and the other one hasn't is still on four yeah the one in the middle you can still see four shield tokens uh, just above the target lock but the bottom one I thought we had one shield left in my hand done we have four shields on one and zero shields on I'm guessing close this one how are we doing, boys? Yeah. Oh, not bad, not bad. Um, better than uh, James at the moment. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, He's yeah. Do you want me to walk around with the camera? If you would like, yeah, we can. Uh, they're currently doing dials. We'll. What we'll do is we'll pop. Uh, we we'll pop you up. Leave them on for a second. I'm not. On. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Above, uh, above cards, we could do. We'd just rather not have them moving their shield tokens around too much. Uh, partly it's the acrylics because they're the pale ones. Uh, see, if you look at Chris's, you can still see all of his shields. It's nice and obvious. Uh, it's just because they're the pale blue ones, they don't stand out quite so well. Um, like I can say I can still spot that this four on the top one. It was just the bottom one. Yeah. No, uh, okay. Not. So we're just gonna have a quick walk around with John. Let's have a look, see how we're doing. A little bit of a close up. I think that jump's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, oh don't look at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and there is Oliver from the previous game top table, facing off against Cal, who was first game top table. So, you know, they're both still holding up quite strong. Lots of magic players, tiny people. There's some warlord friends coming in. And there's Lee Williams from Cloud City Radio. And where is Luke? Oop, hang on, there's. Yeah, there's not too much happening at the moment. A little bit of movement. What I'm going to do is. Pop these up just so you can have a quick look what's happening up there as well. See the movements. Ah, there's Luke. He must have finished up quite early on his yeah, last he was game. Playing Dink, wasn't he? Dink got the oh, yeah. Skill. Yeah, he got a, what? And his ash. ash. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, just having a quick look on how people are doing. Um, what we're going to do in that case is. Let's move it through to the smaller camera, just so people, as things are getting a bit more close on the main table. So it jumps to the sloop. Yeah, which 
Kuru are going well for it. Uh, again, Sedge is kind of coming round, and we're done with that one, so we'll switch over. Thank you, John, for having a wander around, saying hi to everyone. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. We uh, switched in. We had the, we moved it so that the this current table was in the corner. Oh, okay. And then as you're going back, switched them over. So we still see what you're doing. We're uh, so clever. Having having a quick play around. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all it's all uh, all John's work. I've just kind of picked up whatever he's done, put together. It often does very well on the commentary. Uh, people keep saying that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a calming voice. Uh, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> now, are those two B wings in R? Uh, I think only the back one is. Uh, in the, yeah, and the new row's coming round, so she's. But she, ha she should have a target lock. They should all have target locks for fire control system. Mm. Uh, I guess they forgot. French accent. I fucking I'm Welsh. <laughs> God, trust you, Northern scum, to have no idea what accents are. God, I'm insulted. Main street, I swear on the live stream and everything. This is just the disgrace of it all. Hey, I was an exciting game with B wings. You come out with that. <laughs> uh, Chris is going to have a pounding on. This would probably be a primary shot. Yeah. And then reroll. Very nice. Three hits. <laughs> Does he spend the focus this time? Uh, yes. He's going to have to. He needs to survive. So, two more damage. So, two cards. Again, no, slowly. And then the back B, probably for a round of the brew. Yeah. Um, now, what's. He's. Yeah. What? Spend uh, spend focus. Yeah, I he think needs he, to. I think he needs yeah. to, yeah. Yep, that's it. Two oh, that's two more damage. Ah, so it's, it's a one off. Four damage, yeah. So it's one gonna live. <laughs> yeah, Beaming's too powerful. I remember back in the old day, 4BZ, the pain, such, such pain and suffering is never known. <laughs> Yeah, I think if they were to bring Jumpmaster a bit more in line, give it another couple of points. And, oh, so that's. Mm, oh, give it another point, take away some agility, take away some damage, you yeah, know, that'll help. <laughs> yeah, what are they trying? Okay, there's some serious discussion going on, but I have no idea what it's based on. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just see what the result is and figure it out from that. Okay, so nothing happened. Range one onto Nero. Uh, he's... Two crits. So, shield, so Nero will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a seven two. And we're pretty much in the next round. So not a great round for the jump. No, you, he's on the one there. hand, it's not a great round. On the other hand, it survived a couple of bees shooting at it when yeah. it had no shields. Uh, I consider that a win, <laughs> and I got a couple more. Da uh, I got a couple more damage onto Nero. I'd say not ideal, but it's it's doing better than I expected.
So I'm expecting some sort of a left bank from the top jump to get into the action. Um, or a hard one. Hard one down, get a torpedo onto Nira. Hmm. Nira's probably in a 2k. The other one's just going to move forward, clear its stress, be ready to torpedo something else. No, oh, at least shoot something. Yeah. Give again, the oh, Nira's the only one with torpedoes. Two rides or four K, and just just eventually come back. To, he's probably done for this game, to be honest. He, he, he got two, he got two shots onto Ben, and just yeah. that was it. That was him done for the day. Might well be George. It's uh, like I said, only no three Imperials today. That's it. Yeah, triple D's. Triple Defender, Imperial Aces, and oh, let's have a look. See if we can find what the third one is. They're all equally uninteresting. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I'm a bit. I'm a bit tired of Defenders and Aces. I want to see interesting Imperials. What? Don't see any With defenders TLT. around. Ah, there was a go. Oh, there was a kind. There was a. There was a Omega Crack Swarm. Omega Leader, Wampa, three Black Squadron Pilots of Crack. What we want to see is Imperial not TLTs. Okay. Yeah, that would that would make the game so much more interesting. Let's get the Imperial <laughs> TLTs. It's just what we want. <laughs> See, George, you've got a big problem with Long Live the Rebellion. If there's no Empire, who are we supposed to rebel against? <laughs> <laughs> They're a necessary evil. <laughs> Space terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I think that's the right choice there, isn't it? I think the Zid will come back round and be like, with everyone gone? There's nothing left. Nothing from the debris. Still. Uh, he's got a nice range one shot at the back of a uh, jump master. Yeah, he's just going to stay where he is pretty yeah. much. Clear of stress, regain of stress. Uh, got fire control, so don't much care, really. Nope. And Nima, if she's still in the 2K, that'll be great for her. If she hasn't, I'm sure she can work it out anyway. <laughs> that's, I think that's going to be a debris bomb. Does it fit? It does not fit. Oh dear. Yeah, that's the problem. It's the range one shot, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Uh, maybe. I might be just out of shipping. I think it might be just out of range one. Again, hard to have the angle. Especially with the B-Wing not being straight at it. It's, uh, yeah. I love how Nira's got the special doll. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah looks like it's 2K. 2K. 
Oh boy. It's a. Uh, now, is. It's kind of a shame his target lock's on that one because it's going to take a pound in from the other bees. Yeah. So he's, I'd, if I had the option, I'd obviously rather take a shot at the first one. Yeah, range one from near it. Waving goodbye to his. Uh, no, range two shot, not range one. Fire control. No, it was range one. Uh, three hits against mm, one of eight top. That, yeah, it's, it's dead. Just add the piles. Yeah. So currently there is a dead Fenrau and a dead Scout with just a couple of lost shields on Chris's side. Yeah. It looks like a range free from the pair of them. Yeah. Just get those. Chris next turn just got a bit yeah. of the kill box going on as well. well the thing is, he can get his uh, two fire controls going, so it doesn't matter what damage he gets on this one. No. Just get fire control for the closer range shot the next turn. And then Nira's gonna s just do like, hi, I have rockets, goodbye. Pretty much. Because she's still got that second one left. Ooh, uh, getting there, uh, two hits on the crit is not a bad start to the. Oh boy. So I spend the focus to dodge all that. And then the second one. Come on, fire control target lock. I, yeah, I would say that this is going to be 100 nil. Because, like I said, all the B wings are still good shields. Nira's taking the worst, and she's still got 5 health. Fire controls are going on. Next turn is going to be a lot closer unless the uh, torpedo legs it. <laughs> but then he's not exactly doing a lot. And Scout is torping back at Nero. So she's lost. So she lost the shields, taking a crit. So this could be the end of Nero. Not likely. Okay. Oh, let's have a quick nosey, see what he's got. That's fine. I'll just relax with me. Chris played that round really well. <laughs> well, George and Nick and I just found it and they started talking, so... What crit was it? Uh, blinded Pilot, so no shot from Nira next turn. Mm. Which will help, because it means... Uh, well, she's down to two health, which gives the Jump Master a chance to take her down, because it's only taking the two B shots, most likely. Yeah. But then might come in close enough for a range three. Eventually. <laughs> Uh, if in this case it may be worth just kind of moving nearer, like to crash into the U wing, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. just to avoid taking the shots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Nick. Not necessarily, though, if he could get a good enough... Basically, if he could just rip the U-boat uh, apart, then uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that turn in. No space for the barrel roll, so... I don't, I don't think he's in a bad position there, though. Because he's he's almost forcing the bump on the two B wings. That's the thing. If they can all just plow in, get the bump, yeah. get they'll get rid of their stress. Um, 
and then they'll be able to just 2k next turn and yeah. the scouts moving first to get out of the way. So for Ben Saunders, the upgrades on Nera are fire control system, proton torpedoes, extra munitions, uh, guidance chips and trick shot as the EPT, because it's free, why not? Uh, she's fired one proton torp, I believe, at the moment. Uh, yeah, I think she's only fired one torpedo. And there's that Z coming in for a potential range free. Which could... Uh, no, they've already, yeah, they've already got uh, target locks, so... Not really needing to thread tracer. Oh, no, she's gone the other way. And, uh, that's not a green manoeuvre, so and that's going to be. It's range two at least, so he needs to get two hits, so he needs to botch, botch two of eight. Uh, there's a lot of pointing going on. I'm sure it's very important. <laughs> right, so, from a B-Wing into the Jumpmaster's face. Oh no, from Z. Hit crit. Uh, range 3. Oh, rock. Um, there's a 2 evade. No, 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 two, two focus and uh, evade. Evade, a focus and... Two focus and evade, yeah. So, he takes it, the focus or he gets the crit. So that's the focus gone? No, it's still sat on What? Okay. I did not see what they did there. That's the B wing, range one. Hit to focus. He's got target locks, so he can just re roll them. Whoa. Two hits crit, so it's a crit getting through. Or oh, hit crit going through? Gone either way, isn't it? The shield's gone on it now. Yeah, Spengar is loud. Um, <coughs> uh, Ash is as well, you can usually hear him even though he's in the other room. <laughs> Missing the table a little bit. So, Hickrit on Nira. Oh, so that's a crit. It's very important. What crit have we got? This is console fire, she's still going, she's still alive. <laughs> so blinded pilot will not yeah. flip. Uh, just double checking that, but yep, blinded pilot will flip. Oh, not. Yep. yep, there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> God, they worked it out. I, yeah. I really don't like going out there telling them this is how the rules go. Especially this half the time, I don't know how the rules go. No. <laughs> Don't worry, George, but it's all sorted. <laughs> and Nira's going to have to do a green, get rid of that console fire immediately. Because that would be a terrible way to die. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty much this is. Uh, yeah. Chris's game. I'm just curious whether James can get those Nero points because I mean she's not cheap. No, Nero on her own is 34, which in a four ship list. Uh, a bit lost, but it'd be a decent loss. Considering. Right at the top table, you want to take as many points as you can. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, Nick. I, I think I was saying because he, he is quite new still. Um, he doesn't get to play usually often, and he's not been playing for a long time. Um, 
but I know on the I think it was a case of that one of just not reading the card fully because uh, that's the new set which I believe says um, even if you did not have a shot you could still shoot uh, flip it yeah 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 it's only the old one which is mean that you have to be able to shoot to flip it. So where's the set gone? Swinging there. Yeah, yeah. the set's finally getting the piece of the action proper. I'd like to see the Z get the kill shot, but <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think he'll allow it. Uh, he could if he shot a B-Wing first, get that hole down to like one or two. Yeah. I was talking to Chris earlier about it and he has done it to someone. Landed the final blow of the game with the Z. And just because? Yeah, just because you can. I think it'd be nice to see it here. He's, he's flown this really well. Keep that stress, white hard too. Yeah, uh, 2k? 2k on the eight. Yeah, yeah, just move on to back away and get the turn. Just start getting those hits and yep. even if he's in a drive by, it'll be every turn there'll be one or two ships shooting. Yeah. And that'll be a hard to win. No, no, he's clearing that stress finally. Avoid that console fire if possible. Is he gonna remember it? Is he? No, he's nice, target locked. Target lock. He's gonna risk it, take the torpedo shot. Oh, here's here's the rule now. Is he gonna get the console fire? And oh, console fire. Oh. No, he rolled for the console fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? He's flipped. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, it's oh, con no. Yeah, got, uh, console fire is an action. Yeah, sorry. No. Oh. That's a, that's a shame. He took the risk. <laughs> but now I want to see the Z kill it. <laughs> I do. And shoot B first, because then you can Please. kind of uh, get the... Is, is he surrounded it? Is it just that left? It's just a jump master. So that's a two, uh, one hit and target lock with the fire control. Two hits. So that won't kill it. Oh, but it's very down. close. Very close. One left. I think. Oh no, it's first hole. Oh. That's what we get for paying no attention. And then. Shot from the Z. No. Wait, that. Oh, that was the Z, Red yeah. One, yeah. Uh, Target that? From yeah. The uh, one hit. And one dodge. It may have been the right one, but it may have been the right choice, however, mm, personally, I'd have gone for getting rid of that console fire. So he's going to be that thing. Yeah, so now shot back from the jump master onto the B wing. Oh, no, onto the Z. Z. Yeah, you get a few more points, basically. And uh, shields. He had Stargalix already. What I would do in this position have the B, uh, have the Z swing just one bank in, yeah, just close in, and the B do a hard two over that rock. Yeah, okay. it's over a rock, but I think he's got the shields to play with. <laughs> I've 
Oh yeah, George, I completely agree. I said this. I personally possibly would have gone for taking out the console fire because it's guaranteed action to get rid of that possibility of death. However, from a probability standpoint, it's better to go for the win in play at the risk of losing your ship because uh, it get the win of the game rather than uh, you know just a few extra points. As I say I agree with that. It's just a case of my personal consideration would be take the risk on the two damage shot uh, with an evade. <laughs> Especially after some shots of whittled away that focus. Ooh, that's a rock, that's bad. I think that's game. That should be game. <laughs> <laughs> that should be game. Um, it doesn't take any damage from it. Yeah, though. plus there's also, again, Chris is the one on the top table, but B Wings, not me, so he, I'm assuming he knows better than myself. <laughs> Uh, okay, straight. That's more sensible. He's got time, he's got. Yeah. yeah there's no point okay. rushing for the kill. Barrel roll person? No? Uh, just focus. Okay. Is that swinging? Yeah. Probably no arc. He'll <laughs> make the arc work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just focus, go get a target off if he's not already got one on that guy. And then the other one just two forward, clear stress. Take a pot shot. Mm, what a target looks. Uh, have a shot, probably clipping the rock. Maybe not. They'll decide that between themselves. I think yeah. he's going for the outside. Sure. He's handed in the way I can't see. Yeah, that's it. They'll decide that between themselves. I think he's picked three dice up, so. Spend the focus. Get another one clipping through. Slowly work it down. Two left on that jump. But as there were no other arcs, that. And I say it was a nice opportunity, just not enough able to bring it in. So the Zed's going to do a hard two. Yeah. The D -wing, D wing bank two. Uh, yeah, it might place him behind the rock, but I don't think he's going to be just okay. <laughs> and the other B wing at the top. Actually. Maybe one bank to avoid hit, even the risk in the rock. And then they can barrel roll left or right as he needs. Yeah. So, so given that Chris has two beamings as Z against a two health jump master, what's your thoughts on this guy? Really? Yeah. Uh, he it's built a jump it master to killer. Yeah, he built it to kill jump masters, and it's uh, doing the job. I always point out, put Chris top of the table. Well, he stay, yeah, he stays top, don't he? Yeah. Well, I, I, no. I, <laughs> Depending on how much he's lost, he's lost um, the Nero, which is quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. will there be anybody else on three wins? Like yes, yeah. is that? Yeah. Well, we'll face that. Mr. Hibbert, I believe. Oh um, no! There <laughs> 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 goes the viewer ratings. <laughs> <laughs> what the shame bring? Let's have a quick nose. Um, I think it was it was scum, obviously, because the shame. I think it's two boats, isn't it? Uh, and probably. Fed. Sounds like a kind of Two contract scouts, I'm guessing. Uh, Fen, double scout, yeah. Yeah. Brought a Boshek scout, though, which is interesting. Oh, he's gone for R2 there. Oh, that was... Oh, it's going close. Ah, it's going to clip. It's going to be on. Wait, what? Yeah, that's on. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll see you in a sec, when he rolls. Yeah, it looks like he's getting ready to roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. No shot this time. 
Uh, yeah, he probably will, to be honest. It's, uh... <laughs> I'd say, he's, he's built it to take on Jumpmasters, and it's two in the job. There's a shame about Nira, but... I say, she, she took a talk and a quite a bit more on top of that. Uh, that'll be, a, again, one shot from a B-Wing, and that's all that Chris is getting. But it's on two health on the thing, and he's got range one, target lock, so... Oh. Yeah, I mean, you can't hit a dice tray, but... Here we go. It's a three, so he needs double of eight to not die. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> How did he manage it? Ah... Uh, lives on and on and on, and now he gets to shoot back. Probably <laughs> the dead again, because he's only got two health left. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Spend the focus. Yeah. So again, he needs to roll two of her. Oh dear. So that's the Zed gone as well. Chris is bleeding points at now. So he's still over 50 points. Uh, now it's not quite as great a win as it was going to be. This is going to be the hero scout that lives to take out two B-wings as well. <laughs> Takes out a list on its own. I'm more disappointed we're not going to see the Z finish the game now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was really hoping for that. You just have to go have a, you know, to tell Chris off yeah, not doing better. Right. Yeah, a win is a win. However, a high point win is a better win. Uh, when it comes down to Emma being now, obviously... You want to get more points, so uh, not like we're having a cut. So if Shane's on three wins and he's got quite high win ratios, which I think he has. Uh, I'm not too sure. It's second. Uh, no. Yeah, I think his second game was a close one. Yeah. I think it was down to the wire. I think all the top, take, uh, top end of the table players are very close. Yeah. Very close. Enough. It's a shame to see Cal go down quite so fast. <laughs> but two, two X Wings and a TIE Fighter is risky, yeah. a risky business to break. I missed that. I was. Uh, well, I told you I was washing my hair, <laughs> but I wasn't. My uh, two-year-old son decided for once he'd let me have a lie in, so I grabbed it with both hands. <laughs> nice bit of bump. That's a clever move. Yeah, I think the jumps are actually done pretty well to get the points that they're getting out of Chris. Yeah. It was looking like I 100 think, nil, getting yeah. half points, very helpful. Get him up the tables. Hopefully Chris keeps his composure now and... Just finishes it. Ju yeah, I think that's the best you can go for. Just in case anyone's unaware, I am a bit retarded when it comes to tournaments because I never do very well, so I don't exactly know what is the best uh, <laughs> what is the best requirement for uh, winning in a, uh, in this tournament. Yeah, neither one of us is going very high. <laughs> my, my, my best rating is like 50-50, um, so <coughs> anything like that, I will apologise. I am quite uh, useless at. 
<laughs> uh, video isn't paused. We've just got uh, some slight stuttering lag in lag in the stream. I say the wireless isn't perfect. It's just a, I say it works well enough for the most part. We get odd little gaps like that, and it looks like the bottom B wing took a damage from the rock while bumping into the jump master. Yeah. And that's possibly another bump. Yeah. Oh, no shots at least this time round. No. Which is not so good for the jump master. <laughs> Bees can't do the two. No, and it stressed him out trying to do that as well. Exactly. So we're going to see the two sloop from the jump. Might be burst. Oh, no. Little Brooke was now. Continue recording. Okay, so just for the people watching, this is the point where the live stream recording seems to have just failed. So we're going to keep recording. So we're keep recording. Watch the end of the game. Uh, the rest of it will be on YouTube when that gets uploaded by John. Uh, just in case this is. If the stream's ended at this point, that'll be why. <laughs> so, not perfect technology. Uh, has some minor issues. Uh, I said, from the Facebook feed, it looks like it's still running a bit, but we'll see when it catches up. Uh, so, that's. Overlap some samples there, get that onto the debris, and it's not a sloop. At which point that beam is just gonna go forwards and shoot it essentially in the back. Yep. Uh, the other one's probably gonna move out the way first. Come around. Uh, I'm just quickly letting people know on the stream that the it's just kind of had a slight fail. Uh, uh, they should have an arc on that, it looks like. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Oh, but bloody keyboards, why such a terrible keyboard, so tiny. But, uh, yeah, the, the stream has ended, okay. Uh, Happened the same in the last round as well. We just kind of is there a timer cut out. I, it shouldn't be. I say we didn't have this problem last last time. However, last time we didn't have as many people on the store Wi-Fi because everyone was the store was packed with everyone on the uh, tournament. But it looks like he was in Ark. Um, so was Spence, it in Ark? Yeah. Okay. Spends the focus. Gets three hits. There's one. Ah, made. that's it. That's it. Game. Uh, I think Chris played that really well. Yeah. Uh, Very well played by Chris. Very nice to watch. Great to see B wings. I think, I think the uh, scum came in at the wrong approach. Definitely. Uh, sending Fen off uh, on a suicide mission, basically. But, uh, nice to see Chris win that. 